Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the Sony NX EA50. Uh, everyone know that this is not a new camera already, so it's launched to be a period of time. But uh, luckily we got this demo unit from Sony Hong Kong and uh, we want to share some maybe of my uh, uh, comment after I just tried it on. And uh, okay, first talking about the cameras. You see the camera size is pretty in between for me is a, is a handheld and a shoulder mount um, uh, series. Uh, I mean design. So um, for this, okay, uh, because you got like three point supporting. So you got both hand and plus the uh, shoulder. And um, it's uh, when you're doing the handheld shots, it's actually much stable than you are for just only a, a handheld situations. And um, but the uh, the bad thing is because this is uh, because this is not uh, a real shoulder mount camera, so that's why yeah your shoulder doesn't really just like sharing the weight of the camera. So your hand is still getting all the weight from this camcorder, and um, after a while, I think you will be maybe start to feel tired. And um, okay, so for the uh, for for the sensor for this camera, this is an APS-C sensor. So uh, it's a 1.6 crop, uh, crop factor, and uh, you will got quite a nice uh, shadow depth of field from the DSL, same as the DSLR. And uh, for sure, okay, this camera is also can be uh, can be a lens changeable. So uh, you can so if you got like some other lens like Canon, Nikon, and then once you got the adapter, you can put on the lens that you want. And uh, it's a lot of combinations for you for 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 the video for the video shoots. And uh, but for Sony, they will come with two lenses. So one uh, will be come with the eighteen to two hundred. Um, steel lenses which is uh, silver size uh, a silver outlook and uh, the other one which I'm handling it is the new design with the servo zoom lenses it's the same as 18 to 200 um, this camera these lenses can give you a lot of combinations because okay we always find out when you're using FS100 or FS700, if you don't have a servo zoom lenses, and then it will always be the hassle when you're doing maybe a seminar, when you're using this can in a, in a new situations, and um, and once you got these lenses, and then I think you can solve all these issues because now okay, once you put on these lenses onto this camera, and then now you can get a very smooth servo zoom with uh, with these lenses. And uh, for sure, yeah, for this sand lenses, not only work for uh, EA50, and then it work for even it, it is also work for uh, NEX three uh, L7, uh, which is a steel camera. So you only need to using this button onto the lens to control the zoom in and zoom out, and also you can choose the speed of the zoom. So which is uh, pretty impressive for me. And now, okay, this camera I can use it for like maybe all situations. And um, because of the because of the um, uh, of the sensor size, and then you also get a, a quite a nice uh, shadow depth of field. And um, when I used this on uh, last night with uh, shooting with my cats, uh, when I try it on, and then I find out the even I put on the uh, dB to be 30, 30 dB, and then the image that it shows I. I'm pretty impressed about like the the noise compression is really doing a good job, and then I, I I totally accept the the image for for this, and then I don't see a very greeny noise uh, through all the shots. So I'm pretty impressed. But um, yeah, other than the good thing, it must be have some like minor minor thing which I don't like. First is the because of the size of this camera. After using a while, I find a little bit like maybe uh, maybe too heavy for me. And then if, because uh, I think half of the situation when I'm shooting my cat, and then I'm uh, actually opening the uh, the wheelfinder and then using a handle to control it, and then it's actually quite heavy. But uh, if you put it onto a shoulder, I think it's actually okay. And uh, the other the other maybe a uh, minor stuff for me is the lens itself. The autofocus reaction is not as fast as I think because probably maybe when you're doing the zoom, you're expecting he's doing the focus at the same time. But some situation when I'm shooting maybe my cat and then I find out when I just like maybe doing the zoom in and then the um, the focus doesn't start to react to focus and then the shots that I shot and then it doesn't really work uh, and then I have to reshoot it again 
And uh, but okay, but it's still it's still a good lenses. And also at this moment, it's the only options for you if you want to have an autofocus plus a servo zoom for the uh, for the uh, uh, FS uh, for the NEX uh, series camera. So. Um, I quite like this camera. If you are use, if you want to have light, uh, maybe shoulder mount uh, operations and um, the uh, noise compression is good. And I think it is, it is actually a, a good camera. So if you want to have more information about this camera, so please visit ANS website.